Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy VII Remake. I was thinking about it, and I think one thing I need to work on is not evading constantly, but instead trying to actually block damage because I don't, I don't really block at all. Um, I think I need to do that, and I think HP ups and stuff need to be used probably a little bit more than I currently use them, but. I don't really have a ton of materia slots available for all the characters right now, so... It's a little tough to make a decision as to what I want and don't want. Sparks look good. Marlene. Marlene. Marlene! Jesse! God damn it! God damn you! God damn you all! Molly. It was us. We did this. No. You can't think like that. Whatever came before it was Shinra that pulled the trigger to death. Am I right? Yeah. Barrett. Marlene's fine. Huh? Aerith found her. Aerith? Is that the girl they took? Yeah. That's her. Hmm. What the hell's going on? I asked Aerith to find Marlene and take her somewhere safe. And she did? You sure? Hey! Where are you going? <sighs> All right. I said, where you going? Aerith's house. It's in the Sector 5 slums. And that's where Marlene is? Where we hope she is. Tell me she is. Give me something to hang on to. Even if she's not, I won't blame you for it, I swear. Hmm. Who am I kidding? 
I'd probably try to tear your head off. Hey, Tifa. Know anything about ancients? I know I've heard of them, at least. They come up in planetology books. Meant to be the original stewards of the planet. Could even commune with it, talk to it and stuff. That must be why the Turks wanted her so badly. Within my veins flows the blood of ancients. This planet is my birthright. <sighs> Failed again, I see. But through suffering, you will grow strong. Isn't that what you want? It's nothing. Let's go. Only we believed you. It's like there's a hole in the sky. Wait. Hmm. I'll mark it, huh? What are we waiting for? Over where? If there was ever a time to strike. What the hell are they doing here? Their jobs, probably. Mm. Just focus on seeing Marlene again. I oh, must be talking about Nothing the uh, Fenrir soldiers that walked past. Seven, man. Can... Oh, hey. Uh, Andre. Did you find what you were looking for? Thanks to you, I did. Good. Now never let it go again. Jesse at the villa. Yeah, Biggs too. They were both Let in me pretty through, bad shape. Let me but Wedge wasn't up there with them. He got out. All right. Hmm. Except probably not, sadly. Come on now. There's no need to be afraid. No. I've been thinking, y'all. We gotta go find the others. Very somber. My ears are still ringing. This is Sector 5, right? So, where's this place you said Marlene is? Where I think she is. It's a house on the other side of town. Well, come on then, pick up the pace. I'm going as fast as you are. I can't even imagine how it feels. Can you still safe? I think I want to go back to the church real quick. Remember that materia that I never picked up? Oh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> There's a time and the place, and that is not right now. Oh, hey, kid. Cloud, I'm glad to see that you're in these trying times. I hope to develop new materia to help us. All right, what do we got here? What's item master materia? So this, I'm kind of thinking that I want this um, because 
But these are dirt cheap. I should buy all these. Increases ATB. ATB. ATB when staggering. That sounds good. Um, effectiveness of items. I will buy all that. I'm thinking I do want the steadfast block because, like I said, I want to block more. I would like the ATB gauge to go up while I do it. That would be ideal. So. Cloud, I have come up with the most fascinating theory. Hmm? I have to tell you that I'm grateful for so all So is there stuff I've already accomplished? Oh, that's cool. I've done it. I've developed a new material. So as he gives me quests, I can uh, finish them without actually having them. Hmm. Enemy skill. I would wager enemy skill is not going to be particularly useful right now, but... I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel search. I hope you will continue to help me gather vital okay. information. I look Nothing else. To receiving all of your future okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Intel I hope you will oh, oh my god. I accidentally clicked it again. Okay, alright. We got stuck in a loop there. So before I do this, I am going to take a quick peek at materia for everybody. Um, I don't think I need the steel materia on anymore, so let's actually just throw on that steadfast block material I was just talking about. I do want the magnify barrier. I think that's super helpful. Um, curative spells, I, I think that has to stay. I put this on because I kind of want the um, dispel but I don't know how important that really is going to be. Fire ice. I don't know how important this necessarily is. Let's trade this out for another HP up, perhaps. Any upgrades for people? Not really. Okay. That's the house. Marlene! Marlene! Jeez, don't even knock. So rude. Where's Marlene? Is oh, she is? Barrett. Maybe a little less aggressive. Sorry, I'm Barrett. Marlene's my little girl. Marlene, she's got short hair. She's cute as a button with the heart of an angel. She was wearing, uh, Pink. She was wearing a She's pink dress today. Upstairs. Huh? Oh. I said she's sleeping. I want to see her too. Come on, let's go look in on her. Keep it down. Don't wake her. Maybe you should join your friend upstairs. Marlene, my baby, thank God. Shh. <laughs> Tell him, he's the one in there talking directly in front of her. Shinra has my daughter now. I'm sorry. No, I'm the one who asked her to go get Marlene. We'd only just met, but she was so kind and helpful. I took advantage of her. It's not your fault. It was only a matter of time before she ended up back there. <sighs> Because she's an ancient. Is that it? So she told you about that. She must trust you all a great deal. Yes, Aerith is an ancient. Probably the last one living. She's not my daughter. 
Not by blood, I mean. If that's what you were wondering. Hmm. About 15 years ago. My husband, he'd been shipped off to fight on the front lines. But then I received a letter saying he'd be home for a bit. So when the day came, I went to the station to meet him. But he didn't come. I couldn't help fearing the worst, even then. But I told myself his leave must have been postponed, that he'd been delayed. Every day I went, to wait and to pray. And that's how I met her, her and her mother. I thought maybe they'd run away from Wall Market, or that they were topsiders fallen on hard times. I'd seen that sort of thing a lot. Take Aerith somewhere safe. Those were her mother's dying words. <laughs> My husband had been away for so long, and I was lonely. So I convinced myself the safest place for the girl was with me. It took no time at all for her to start feeling like family. She was a real chatterbox. She told me strange stories, like how she and her mother had escaped from some sort of facility and how she wasn't sad because her mother had just returned to their planet. Their planet, huh? Yeah, that sounds about right. <sighs> I didn't understand any of it at the time. When I asked if she meant one in the sky, she said no, this one, right here. I mean, what can you say to that? Mommy, don't be sad. That's what she said to me one day, out of the blue. So I asked her, what's wrong? A man you really, really loved just died. His heart came a long way to say goodbye. But he couldn't stay because he had to return to the planet. I didn't believe her, of course. And then, a few days later, I received a letter saying my husband had been killed in action. Things like that, she'd just know. It was a lot to deal with, but we were happy. <laughs> and then came the knock. just any little girl. You're a descendant of the ancients. I had no idea what he meant, so I said, who are the ancients? They were the original stewards of the planet, whose boundless knowledge and wisdom shall guide us to the promised land. <clears throat> Some believe the promised land to be a myth, others an allegory of sorts. But we take the words of the scriptures at face value and believe it to be quite real. Which is why Shinra would like very much for Aerith to help You're us- You're wrong! I'm not an ancient! But Aerith, even when you're all alone, 
Don't you hear voices whispering secrets? No, never! <clears throat> but all three of us knew that wasn't true. That man knew exactly who Aerith was, where she'd come from, and what she could do. They knew where she was, but they didn't just take her? Doesn't sound like the Turks I know. She had to come willingly, otherwise it wouldn't work, they said. That's why, even if they did take her away, I'm sure she's still being treated like a guest. And that they'll send her straight back home, once they get what they need. I doubt it. You're not planning anything, are you? Don't make things worse than they already are. If I lost her, too, I don't know if I could... If I could ever... Just don't. Cloud, maybe she's right about this. Maybe they'll let Aerith go when it's all over. Maybe we'd be better off waiting a little while. Let's head back to Sector 7. Got things to take care of. Like checking up on the bar. Yeah. Okay. It's not going to ask her to watch over Marlene in the meantime. The main entrance to Sector 7 is buried under rubble now. So how are we supposed to get back inside? Underground passage in the park. Ah, uh, good plan. But how do we get to the park? I know another way to get there. Aerith showed me before. <laughs> this ancient girl knows her stuff. Didn't mean anything. There's something back here. No, okay. I didn't necessarily think there was, but... There was this rolling, and then all of a sudden... Alright, so I think now I'm gonna go to the church to get that materia that's in there, assuming it's gonna let me. Oh, area shop, let's check this out. what happened over in Sector 7? Buy some more HP up materia. Because I assume I'm going to be using those. Let's go see. Nope. Okay. Still can't go that way, so I may never be able to go back and see what that material was. But that's okay. Um. Wait, I can't go back there now. I guess at night I can't. Maybe during the day I could. I don't know. All right, I'm heading to this waypoint. I will catch you there. Let's keep moving. Gotta go through this section again. Okay, got bound immediately. I was gonna practice my blocking, but I... I didn't get a chance because it grabbed a hold of me. What a bummer. Yeah, nice if you miss anything the first time through here, you can pick it up now, so. And you don't have to use the mechanical arms. That's probably my favorite part. Because that was my least favorite part. It's blocked. Duh. There. 
Nice. We get to take a new route. But it's our only shot. Overall, so far, I mean, 20 some hours in, I like the game. It hasn't blown me away by any means. Um, but I do, I do enjoy it, and I am considering going back through because I know there is a new game plus, which is really just a hard mode. So I'm definitely thinking about that. So I'm thinking about going back through and doing the hard mode. Um, I'm not going to record the hard mode playthrough just because it's, you know, it's another 30 hours, basically. Um, what I am planning is, oh, look at these guys. Um... I want to assess these guys. Okay. Just want to have everything assessed. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I'm not going to record everything for the new game plus. I will probably record. Can I go through this? Is there anything back here? No, probably not. Um, I will probably record the boss fights and any of the simulation fights on hard mode, um, just to kind of share it, We're you know, but that's probably about the only thing really. Nice, good job on my part. Focus shot. Hang back. You're mine. Time to end this. Just uppercut it to death. Teamwork. I guess. Hmm. I guess. So that'll be the plan. Record just the boss fights and kind of upload them as a separate video. See how I do. Hopefully by that point I have a much better understanding of the game as a whole and I'm just, you know, doing a better job, but we'll see. Lightning. I was going to say, I need to not stand in that, probably, but that's okay. guy is weak to lightning yeah I'm having a hard time getting him in it getting him into um
All right, what about this guy? Lightning for him too. Ah, damn. Put up the AOE shit on the ground here. I don't really use... I don't really use the, um... Oh, shit. Wasn't paying attention when that happened. Um, I don't really use the Punisher mode enough either. I think that's something else I need to... And I take more advantage of as well. All right, let's move on. Kind of wish you could do it in the menu instead of out in the battlefield because I think it'd be a little bit quicker, but. Minor gripes, you know, just minor gripes, that's all. Alright, which way do we go from here? Go that way, or we can go this way? This way has a dead end, so we're going this way first. Heavy duty bracer, huh? Let's check that out real quick. Hmm. Defense, magic defense, multiple material slots. Okay. Not something I'm gonna equip right now, but could come in handy later on. Ah, the electricity bullshit. There we go. Clearly talking to Barrett about the dialing it back, not me. Um. down this way. Oh, that guy's different. Assess this big guy. Fire, okay. Breach, remove barrier. Reflect shield. Oh, I didn't know I had that. That's handy. Um, fire, right? I could have gotten it to 190 if I had done a, uh, another uppercut with her, but it's okay. He didn't have enough life to really survive, so that's going to be probably the trickiest part of hitting that 200 is just having an enemy that doesn't die the moment you uh, put him in stagger. Have to be a boss enemy or fat chocobo or something, which I guess I could refight the fat chocobo maybe with the group. I don't know if I can do it with the group or... I assume I can. Okay. Oh. Shit. 
shall we? Okay. I'm not done staggering this guy, thank you. Alright, what do we got here? We were gonna... Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, my arm itches. Oh, damn it. Of a sloppy fight, but it ended up okay anyway. Over there. That way out. I'm almost afraid to go back to see it with my own eyes. Tifa. There's a weird transition of dialogue. Humans. Does it look like we can go this way? No. There's monsters in it. Pretty sure this ought to take us straight to the Sector 5 slums. Alright, so I'm going to cut it here before we get into the park because obviously we're going to trigger a cutscene here. So I'm going to quit it right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Give it a like if you did. Um, leave a comment below if you have anything you want to say. Subscribe so you can keep up with my other content. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Take care.